Hey everyone, Brickliver18 here today with a video that I've actually had requested a little bit for the past few weeks, and it's actually a tour of my LEGO backlog. So for those of you that don't know, backlog is basically your pile of LEGO sets that you haven't built yet. Um, I know a lot of LEGO fans, a lot of avid LEGO fans like myself have bigger backlogs. Mine's definitely gotten a lot smaller these last few months. It used to be a total of three bookshelves. Now it's only two. And then as I rearranged my leg room a little bit differently recently, it's now spread out into these two bookshelves. So the first one is right here of the backlog. And then I also have the second shelf right here. And then those shelves over there are no longer backlog. They are other storage for my Bricklink store. The sets on my backlog here that you'll see are ones that I do plan on building or I just plan on keeping sealed, but I only have one of my LEGO collection. If du they're duplicate sets or anything like that, I do keep them over here and I'm not going to show that in this video because it's not as interesting. But ever since I rearranged my LEGO room, I really like the format, like the, the, the way it is laid out because as you can see, I've got sets on both sides and it, it just looks like a little library, which I think is really cool. But that's besides the point. That's not really why you're here in this video. Ignore the t-shirts up there. I'll definitely move them out of the way. But these are the Lego shirts that I wear in my videos. Again, this is not a room tour, but I just wanted to kind of give some insight as to why they were hanging there. But now let's actually get right into the backlog tour. So I will start over here with this, uh, I'll just give a quick tour of the first shelf and then I'll flip it around and go to the second. So over here, up here I've just got some bigger sets and then moving down you'll kind of get the idea. So this set here is the Lego carousel set. This is one of the fairgrounds, super hard to see, sorry, I'm in a very tight hallway. Um, I got two of these set, I did build the one and I do plan on building another one soon. I've got this Lego Unikitty set which again, I got it because it was on sale, plus it is a fairground set. I don't have any room for them right now, but I think they're really cool. This one I am excited to build soon is the Lego City Police Seaplane. I'm definitely planning on making a seaplane will they float video, so this is one that I definitely want to include in this. Uh, this one here is actually one of the Lego Classic 900 piece Black Friday boxes. I'll definitely go through that and sort the pieces eventually, I just haven't gotten around to it. This here is another set I'm really excited about building right away. It is the Lego Idea Space Station, one of the new ones that came out. I'm just waiting on clearing around some of my Lego collection to build. I don't know if I'm going to build this one right away. It was, again, one I bought on sale, but it is the Lego Creator 3-in-1 Bike Shop and Modular Skate House, I guess, more or less. This one here is the Lego Friends Pool. I don't even remember where I got that set. And then here at the end is actually two of these Lego picture frames that were a gift with purchase last year. I have three. I did open one up, but I have the other two sealed here. On this second shelf is not actually a backlog of Lego sets, so it's kind of misleading, but this is a set of sets that I do want to make videos on. As you can see, I've got the Minion sets. I want to do a review on that. I've got this really cool Lego minifigure factory. Uh, back there, you'll see I've got some minifigs uh, from the Lego store that I want to open up. I've had those for seriously months now. Uh, a few poly bags that I want to make videos on. This is just my shelf of things I want to make videos on. Down here on this shelf, as you can see, this is a bin of just poly bags. So there's lots of different poly bags kind of included in here. These are all sealed, all ones I still have to build. And this is, you know, one bin of many poly bag bins actually around my Lego room. I'm a big poly bag fan, so I do, I collect them. I've even, oh, I didn't even know this, but I even have some uh, Lego minifigures in here. I'll have to go through. I don't know if they're duplicates. I had no idea, um, no idea that they were there. Over here, I've got some much smaller sets. I'm not going to go through them in insane detail, but I'll quickly show you them. The brickheads, uh, the wedding brickheads, I definitely want to get a few more of those. A couple more brickheads right here, the Valentine's Day one. And the birthday guy. And these probably won't be as interesting, um, so I'm not going to go through them in detail, but it's a lot of these LEGO City starter packs, like Police. Um, this is the Drag Racer. Who, yeah, I might as well quickly go through them. Uh, the mail starter set. And then, oh, that's a, a really cool stud plane. Again, I do want to actually build that soon. The Lego erasers. Slide these out of the way. Uh, Lego forest starter pack. Lego mining starter pack. That one's going to be pretty old now. I don't know when that came out. 
Um, this Lego City car, I feel like I might have two of those, and I already built one. Uh, I don't know, looks familiar. This other Lego City plane, and then really back here, really hard to see, we've got the Lego City Space Starter Pack and the Lego City Beach Starter Pack. It's really hard to show these sets kind of and film this with one hand, so I apologize for that. Down here, I've got the Lego Dots uh, starter kit, um, the, the the main collection. I have already reviewed this. It's actually open, so I don't know really why I keep it in the sealed area. But I've also got this Lego Creator 3-in-1 house, a Lego Creator 3-in-1 airplane, and then this Lego Hidden Side Shrimp Boat. I've also got a bunch more sets here, a lot of smaller ones. So what's this? This is... A Lego movie set, Lego small Lego city sets. I haven't seen any of these. I don't know if they even still make sets. These small, um, this set when it came out, the the what is it? The, the imaginary sets, and then as you can see, just a bunch of other smaller Lego city Lego creator sets. A lot of these brick boxes that you get can buy for like six dollars on Amazon or something. They're really cheap, but pretty cool. Over here, I actually have a pick a brick cup with a lot of tiles and a couple other miscellaneous parts that I do have to go through and sort. And then here is actually a box of Lego Batman minifigures, the CMFs, fully sealed in the case. Down here, I actually have a Lego set. It is the Bat Cave. Uh, there are a few pieces missing, but it is assembled, but just very dusty. So one of these days, I do want to go through that inventory it and then disassemble it and keep it sealed in my collection and then right down here I actually have a ton of Lego tote bags so they've done a couple sorting bags a variety of tote bags so this is what the first shelf does look like as I said the backlog is quite less from the last time I made this video and I'm not going to go through all of these smaller sets especially in detail but it's just kind of a general overview of some of the upcoming sets that I have to build. Now moving on over here to the second shelf, I will slide some of the t-shirts out of the way because that's not what you're here for in this video. But as you can see, this is the second shelf of Backlog. So I've got four of the Lego chess sets. These are amazing sets. I absolutely love them. I think the pieces in them are incredible. This one is open. I took a few of the base plates out to actually build that building right there by Lego City. But then these ones are these three are all sealed. These are just amazing parts, like so many bricks and tiles and everything. I've got the Lego City Hospital. This is from Amazon. I actually um, haven't built that yet. I, I do hope to build that. I got it on sale. And then on this side, I won't slide it out because I don't want to damage the box, but I have the Lego Parisian Restaurant, which I recently talked about in an Ask Brick video. Um, I bought it just because I knew I'd regret it if I didn't, but because it's not one of my more favorite modular buildings, I'm probably not going to open it up anytime soon. Moving down here onto the second shelf, as you can see, so many more poly bags. You would have seen a lot in the second shelf, but this one here is my main poly bag display. I honestly could do a whole other video just showing you all the sealed poly bags that I have because there are so many there are some much older ones but then of course there's some brand new ones as well this whole bin is just full of poly bags as well as this bin here is also filled of poly bags this is well, as soon as this got overfilled I instantly just went for this box but again so many so many poly bags in here brand new some older ones we've got gift with purchases Ninjago City all of the above, and then tucked away there, I've also got a white Lego base plate, which is the first one in my collection. Down here, I've got a few other sealed Lego sets. These ones are a bit more interesting, so I will show you. This is the Lego Star Wars, the 20-year anniversary gift of purchase, I believe, from May the 4th last year. I've got this Lego City set, which is a Lego City Fireboat. This Lego City Mine set. The Lego Avengers Tower, which was also a gift of purchase. This is one of a cool set I really can't wait to build next year, but it is this Lego Christmas tree. I got it last Christmas, but I didn't bother building it for now. I've got this Lego train. I've been meaning to build this. It's from 2015, so it's a really old set, but honestly, like I see the value on Bricklink, and part of me just doesn't want to open this set up because um, I've got so many other Christmas sets, and it, it is a very, very good value on Bricklink. So it's sealed for now, but we'll honestly have to wait and see if I do ever open that one up. This one here is a mini version of the new Lego Gingerbread House, which came out earlier this year. It's a cool set. I built up the big version, and I'll definitely be building up the gift of purchase for it as well. Uh, this is another Christmas gift with purchase. As you can see, uh, it is one of, like the carousel or something like that. I don't remember what it's called. This was just a Lego a seasonal set. Um, 
a Lego seasonal gift with perch uh, Lego seasonal set that you could buy a few years ago. Can't remember exactly when it came out, but then, and then right below that is the Lego wall hangers, which I haven't actually used because I don't want to damage the walls here in my studio, but I got that with the wooden Lego minifigure. And then under this, I actually have this two by four brick that I also got with the wooden Lego minifigure. Um, it also has a purpose. So in this side, I've got a bunch of really cool sets. Um, these ones are like duplicate ones that I already have, such as the brick bot, as well as a couple of the Lego house poly bags. This was a Brick Fair Virginia set a few years ago, a Hamley's Toy Shop minifigure, the Brick Fet, the Brick Fest, Philly Brick Fest set, more of the Lego House poly bags, a New York City poly bag, more Lego House, and Lester, as well as the grand opening Ottawa Lego minifigure. These ones, as I said, these are all sets that I have duplicates of, but they're just really cool, and I don't want to lose them or misplace them in my Lego collection, so I keep them nice and sealed here in this drawer and then here on the other side i actually just have more poly bags and a couple different builds um more duplicate things a lot of but some some new ones and then down here i do have quite a bit more sets this side here is some of the smaller ones so some you know a lego friend set we've got a lego agent set so you know that it's it is quite old a valentine's day seasonal set This Lego Creator Hovercraft, this cool Lego Minecraft set, uh, this Harry Potter, which was a gift with purchase, I believe, at Toys R Us a couple years ago, as well as the really cool Target Bean set, um, exclusively sold at Target. This here is just a pretty simple Lego Classic set that I actually picked up recently. It was on sale for like $11 at Walmart. Nothing crazy special there. Up here, I've got some Unikitty sets, um, the Party Time as well as the Lego movies, the the party crew. Very cool, haven't built that one yet. Um, got some more Lego movie two sets down here. One is the triple decker couch, uh, the mech and the actual couch itself. And then of course, San Francisco, California, Las Vegas, California, and then this random Ninjago set that was on sale. Uh, I'm a sucker for sale. This is another sucker for sale purchase. We've got the Lego Jurassic World set. Um, I like the pterodactyl that was included. This Lego Creator 3-in-1 robot. A Lego Movie 2 Benny's Spaceship. Um, a Lego picture frame that I actually want to build and put a picture from my time when I worked at the Lego store. And then just two of these more basic Lego City sets. The Lego Tractor and the Lego monster truck and then down here on the very last shelf um there are still some cool things here is another lego picture frame um from disney which would be cool to find a picture of i don't think it's from disney but it's a legoland picture frame and it reminds me of the disney character so i'd love to find a picture of my family at disney and put it there um another sucker for sale item this is the lego friends um what is it the service and care truck one of the 60 years of Lego limited edition uh, roll, like wheels and brick set that I never actually built. And then down here is actually just a bunch of, I would say, gift with purchases. Uh, there's a couple that aren't gift with purchases, but there's these special minifigures like the bunny, the gingerbread man. These weren't gifts. These were birthday cards, but I bought those for when I need them. The year of the pig, which I do want to build sooner. Uh, this Target set you got with from a gift card. The Banana Man. This set I brought from Bricks on the Dollar, which is the Christmas ornament. And then this is the Amazing Plants, Lego's first plant-based set. And then at the back here, I just have a couple of the minifigure packs. So the City one, Nexo Knights, two of the Batman, and the Lego Movie 2. And then finally in this last bin here, I would say the least exciting, I have a couple of these Lego stuffed animals that I got for very cheap, and a couple packs of the Lego Movie 2 trading card books. So honestly, that's a very uninteresting bin. This last shelf was pretty, uh, besides besides these shelves here, this last set, shelf was relatively uninteresting, but I apologize, but I definitely have to do some building for these sets. All right, so thanks everybody so much for checking out a tour of my backlog Lego collection to kind of give you an idea of some of the sets that I still have to build. Maybe some that you can expect to see here on my YouTube channel soon. But for the most part, um, I try and do the building. Some of these sets, I'll be honest, I know I'm never going to build. Um, I'm just a hoarder and 
don't want to get rid of them but others i do have really great plans for like some of the chess sets i really want to build I, the hospital is one of those sets i really want to build and you know a lot of the ones over here especially they're just waiting to be built and i'm, I'm really excited I, I love building lego but you'll definitely know if you're a hardcore lego collector it's impossible to build it all at once you definitely don't have the space for everything so unavoidably you will start to accumulate a little bit of a backlog um i have really been working through it though uh, getting through you would have known I did have three full shelves of backlog Lego sets at one point last year um, so now that I got it down to two um, that's really good and I am proud of that because I'm trying to build sets more and actually only buy sets that I really want instead of just buying them to buy them but anyway thanks so much for checking out this video really hope you enjoyed the tour you'll have to let me know down below what the size of your backlog is this is definitely not as big as it used to be um, but I know it'll probably get bigger before it gets smaller but anyway thanks so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to leave a like comment and of course subscribe so i'm looking forward to seeing you in a future video and i hope you enjoyed this one so thanks again and have a great day